Hey everyone, how you doing? So we're back in the van. Cheers. And even bigger news, we hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah. Oh, we've got a helper to help us celebrate. Roxy, shut the door. Shut the door, Rox. Yay! We are one day. We were quite surprised at that, to be honest, and it hit it the other day. And uh, anyway, we don't really know what that means for us now, but it obviously has changed a little bit about do we take this channel a bit more forward? We'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, we are currently sitting in the van. We've got some jobs to do in the van for a couple of days. And then we're also heading down south now. But we've got a bit of a problem. We're trying to find some LPG. Yeah. Now, we didn't know this, but by all accounts, there seems to be a bit of a shortage. And yeah. I don't know if it's nationwide. What did the guy say on the phone so, to you? So we've, we've phoned a couple of places now. They've got no gas because there's a nationwide shortage of LPG. So we're going to have to try a few places because we are literally empty yeah. because this is the first time we've really been in the van since we put it on the ship to come back from the States. So we've got a bit of driving to do today, I think. We have. Well, what we've been doing is house sitting. And for those of you that are new to the channel, we're full-time motorhomers and we've just come back from the States um, just before Christmas. We did nine months in the States last year in this beauty. We love her. She's a 2005 model, but you know, these old girls are still good, aren't they, Gary? <laughs> oh, they're still yeah. the best. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we're, we're now planning our Europe trip. Now, we will be heading off to Europe in the next month. Uh, we've got a, a couple of things that we really have to sort on the van. We're heading down south now. We're going to stay. We've got another house sit coming up, actually, for a couple of weeks. But we've got to work on the van. Yeah. The engine's fine. Oh, it's perfect. But there's other things to do, um, which we'll be showing you as we go along. But let's see if we can get some LPG. So I can make a cup of tea because <laughs> we just bought a £2.50 in Greg's. <laughs> and it's a small one. It's a I small mean, one. <laughs> However, to be honest, the girls in there were lovely. So big shout out to the girls from Greg's down at, um, where are we? Barton, Barton Mills. Mills. Barton Mills roundabout. Big shout out to those lovely girls who said I looked nice and bright in my red today. So that's made my day. You know, they didn't see me half an hour ago before the makeup was on. I looked like death warmed up. But anyway. So we've just been using an LPG app and it didn't mention the LPG we've just seen on the A11, did it? Uh, no. Are we on the M11? No, we're on the A14 now. We're on the A14. Between the M11 and the A11. We've just seen a signpost that says LPG. So we're going to pull over. Um, it's not where we've sort of put into the sat nav, which is about 40 kilometres away, isn't it? Yeah. God, I'm talking into kilometres. I don't know. Oh, get ready for Europe. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Getting my European on. <laughs> oh, it's an M&S, Gary. I know. I love an M&S, Simply Food. Get me sandwich in here. Okay, so can you see any LPG? What about over there, look, where it says air and water? No. Nope. LPG would be a... Well, just like a normal one? Yeah. Diesel, unleaded. Oh, God, I don't know. do not look like there's any here, does it? Why's it got a bloody sign saying it? Oh, Christ. Okay, what I'm going to do is... It's not even lunchtime, but I keep thinking about a sandwich, Gary. I going to go and ask that guy if he does have LPG. Yeah, that's a good idea. See what it says. What's the score? So they haven't had LPG here for seven years, but the, apparently the, the government haven't changed the sign. The government haven't changed the sign? <laughs> what do you need to do it? <laughs> Why do you need the bloody government I to do the it? the Department of Transport must own the signage on the motorway. Oh, seriously? Yeah, it's not down to them. Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? Weird, well, that isn't goes it? to show, doesn't it? So I wonder why they stopped selling it. They mustn't have been selling enough. Mustn't have been. It was probably at a time when, when LPGs were the next big thing, so they were getting ready for it and it never materialised. Okay, let's follow the sat-nav again then. We're going slightly out of our way, but anyway, it's worth a it's worth a punt. Yeah, absolutely. I can't believe they've still got the sign up and they're like blaming the Department of Transport or whatever. No, I mean, at the very least, if I was the owner of that petrol station... I'd be out there with a bit of black tape and just put a cross over where it says LPG so you know it's no LPG. Yeah. Take you five minutes, be yeah. easy. I didn't realise this was going to be so difficult. Did you? No. no I mean, we, we're going to be like this all day. Yeah, I know. We we don't desperately need it because we're, we're not actually setting off yet, but we, we can't even make a cup of tea. So, no. and, and the fridge can't go on and I kind of like to have it in there now, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. So we're heading to a Morrison's just outside of Cambridge, aren't we? We are, yes. 
But Gary tried to phone them. And what happens when you phone at Morrison's, Gary, just to ask one question? Right, so, so you can phone the store, but when you get to the store answer machine, it tells you to phone a central Morrison's number. And that central Morrison's number is, is somewhere. And as soon as you ask a question about LPG, put the phone down. Because she hung up what, on you, didn't she? The officer didn't know what I was talking about. So you literally can't find out if they've got any there. So now we're... We're on a journey of discovery. <laughs> Either they've got LPG or they haven't, but we don't know it in advance. We've come about 30 k's out of our way, haven't we? Yeah, so about 25 miles, yeah, out of our way. Yeah. But uh, the hunt for LPG is serious. Right, we've come to the Morrisons, and you reckon that, which one's? The oh. orange one, I think, is LPG. Is that LPG? Let's see if they've got any. Ooh, exciting. Go on. All right, success. Well, Brilliant. success in that we've got LPG. Well, that was a bit tricky, because, because, the only time we've filled up in the UK, somebody else has done it because they've run the pump. Oh, that so woman this, did, didn't she? Right. Yeah. This is the first time I've done it. So I was looking through all my adapters thinking, oh, no, these don't fit. But actually right. what I didn't realise is it, it fits on the bit that's already in the van. So oh, there's, so it's okay. Only an adapter if you're in the States or in Europe. It and, already fits. So once I figured that one out, uh, got it. £30 so, pounds to right. fill up um, an 11 kilogram and a six kilogram tank from empty. So that's pretty good. That's not bad, babes, no, is that's it? Not bad at all. Really chuffed now that we've got a bit of fuel. <laughs> yes, we're gonna put nice. a bit of we're gonna put a bit of diesel in now, aren't we? As well. in, but we can make it now and make a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we filled up. Morrison's in Camborne, just outside of Cambridge. And Gary's gonna put a little bit of diesel in to top her up. Success, finally. So we just popped into Morrison's because we was really hungry and we thought we'll get one of their meal deal things. <laughs> anyway, you won't believe what he oh, I can't take him anywhere. Get, tell him what you did. I was, I was bursting for the loo, so I went into the toilets and you know when a bloke you go for a wee, you, you just go into the cubicle, you don't bother with the door behind you because you've got to go in for a wee and you're facing forward anyway. Anyway, the door opens behind me, not the cubicle door, but the toilet door, and in walks clippity clop. Ah! And I, <laughs> not me. It was, a, it was a woman. And I thought, oh, and then she says, you do know you're in the ladies' <laughs> toilet. So it was me who was mortified. Then I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I had to sort of clamp it in oh, and uh, go next door to the floats. Oh, my God, Gary. First of all, I'm, I'm gobsmacked that you don't shut the door behind you. Because he reckons that's what all blokes well, would I'm do. Not in a cubicle. <laughs> You're facing forward. No one's looking. So if you was that lady in Morrison's, I'm really sorry, sorry that you yeah. you had to see Gary in mid flow. And uh, <laughs> I mean, he could have said he was identifying, but anyway, I don't know. Yeah. Missed the trick there. <laughs> you I? did miss the trick. Oh my gosh. Oh, we better have a sandwich to calm us down <laughs> after all this excitement. <laughs> So as we were driving, I heard a bit of a clonk and I was like, I don't know what that is, Gary. And uh, we've discovered what it was. And it's the handle that's come down off the cupboard. It's literally just broken for no reason. So that's the thing with vans, isn't it? You never know what's going to happen. So another job on Gary's list. What's wrong with it? Why did it come down? Well, my guess is uh, it was just vibrations. Just vibrations. Just vibrations. But it's been like travelling all through America and everything. Why would it suddenly come down? <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps it's given up the ghost. Oh, it's just come loose, is I it? Think, I think so. Let's have a look. So, a little washer there. That should go on. Did the washer come off it as well? Yeah. Um, let's see. We just like screw it in. You just screw it in. I can do most of it with finger tight. I'm just. Just that end Oh, there. it's just a screw like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, you can see all our, I mean, it's all our drinks cabinet. It's looking <laughs> quite healthy. We've got a Metaxa I bought in Cyprus. And uh, you bought a whiskey for yourself, didn't you? I did, yes. But we're actually not drinking at the moment, so it's just there to tease us. Yeah. Oh, God, we need some knives and forks, don't we, for some reason. We don't understand it, but we seem to have lost loads of cutlery for no reason, don't we? <laughs> we do. Is that strong? Oh God! Don't check that cupboard. Look how scruffy it is. That's our bad cupboard. <laughs> that was okay, all right. Is that tight? That one's still tight, so that's all right. Okay. So one of the things we were desperate for after nine months in the states was some seat covers that were getting really threadbare. So a bit of investigation on Amazon, and we wanted something cosy, and we found these like lovely, fluffy. They look like sheepskin, but they're not obviously. But they've also got arms as well. So the whole thing comes with an arm cover. 
79.95 which we thought that was pretty reasonable for two of these captain's chairs now we've got the amazon affiliate link down below if you want it so if you want to buy one of these it won't cost you any more to use our link but obviously we'll get a little bit of a kickback so if you're interested the amazon affiliate link for these chair co covers at 79.95 will be below in the description <music> stuck in a massive traffic jam aren't we uh, we're on so they were on the m25 just shy of the sort of m20 or m23 junctions mm. so south of the dartford uh, crossing and we've got about eight cars in front of us on both lanes and there was a police car just doing that across the carriageway so no one went past it what like walking no police car was doing oh the that. car was yeah. doing it zigzagging yeah so no one would pass them oh hang on the started to go now so oh, we just saw see. a fire engine oh god and gary needed a bloody toilet <laughs> so we went and i sat in the passenger seat and then started to panic i might have to drive i could nearly forgot how to drive i don't know what's going on here then oh we're right behind police horses i've only just realized look gary there's yeah. a police horse van i did notice oh gosh what's happened here it's always really upset him there's such a lot well they've recovered whoever very very well and very quickly these guys are brilliant aren't they they are but it looks like it might snow this is the weather in England bet you're all jealous wherever you are in the nice sunny parts of the world <laughs> yeah, really jealous. <laughs> We're still loving it, aren't we, though? Oh, it's great being back in the van. We love being back in the huge. van. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so we made it down south. And there's Gary, we've just made it to the, our next destination. And here is our lovely Roxy. And this is who we're going to look after for a couple of weeks. Hey, Roxy, say hi. He's such a good girl, aren't you? So, lovely garden to run around in for her. In Roxy Gorgeous. <laughs> yes. oh, so we're going to be looking after her for a couple of weeks. And while we're here, we're going to do a few jobs on the van. Yes, so I've got the big ones, which are replacing the step motor and replacing the radiator. And then lots of little bits and pieces on the inside um, and a few minor stuff on the outside. There's not there's not really anything wrong with the motor because that's been passed its oh, MOT. Perfect. Everything's been solved with the motor itself. But there are some things we need to sort of resolve. And we're also going to make it a bit more cosy. So that will be in next week's vlog. So if you're one of those lovely 1,000 subscribers, thank you very much for joining us. If you're not, but you want to be, just press that subscribe. You can even ding-a-ling that bell and you'll get a notification. Um, give us a nice like and a comment if you've enjoyed this video as it helps the channel to grow. Whatever you do, guys, have a fantastic week. We love you loads, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.